Uh, so I guess there's a couple of points and ways that can happen. So either not doing or ineffectively doing third party risk assessments is, is the obvious first point of kind of origin. It's, there's easy places to, to miss out key big parts of your kind of overall tool set and, and softwares that you leverage. Uh, so free open source tool sets are often kind of missed quite easily because they have no kind of financial footprint. So when you're deciding which of your, which of your third party vendors are most important to kind of go for the highest level of review, they often slip under the net because there's no kind of charge associated with them. But they could be things like PHP, which are used widespread across your full public web interface. The next risk point, I guess, is the is the excessive permissions applied to third parties, which usually stems from being out just ease of setup. It's easier to give a, an MSSP full admin rights than work out exactly what they want. Uh, but should they be compromised, it puts you at a significantly higher risk of being compromised. And then finally, even if you go through the effort of reviewing all of your vendors to make sure that they have a good security benchmark, but they still end up being breached or the software that you get from them ultimately has a critical but trivially exploitable vulnerability despite their controls, introduces another risk point and uh, we're going to look at a little bit of what you can do to mitigate that. <laughs>